Here's a trick I learned for mounting anything with keyholes without a tape measure or doing any kind of math. Stretch a piece of masking tape over your keyholes. Poke a hole in your tape exactly where you want your fastener to go. Use a level to mark a straight line and line up your holes with your line. Attach your fasteners directly into the holes. Remove tape. Now install. It will be perfectly level every time. Okay, so I wanted to share this with y'all right now. Sirius XM is doing a $1 free or like a $1 trial for three months and you get an Echo Dot with it. So you go in, you enter all your billing information, you enter everything you need like to like pay for it. It's they literally charge you a dollar and nine cents, that's all. And then they send you an email like 20, 30 minutes later with this promo code that you enter in on Amazon and then you get your free Echo Dot. Literally, it's the easiest way to get and I go dot like you pay a dollar mm, big whoop-de-doo um but yeah you're welcome here's some more iphone hacks i guarantee you didn't know about when you're sending a message flip your phone and click the symbol now you can send handwritten notes to anyone in settings go to notes and create a password now you can hide anything in notes by swiping left and password locking it if you want your music to sound better click on music eq and select late night They always jack up the prices, the medical, medical people. Yeah, but, but hey guys, so I got my um, itemized receipt from my for my medical bill from December whenever I had strep throat. Um, <clears throat> and they called me about a week and a half ago and they were like, you owe 300 and you know 40 something dollars uh how would you like to pay and i was like well i saw this on tiktok so i'm gonna do what tiktok did can i get an itemized receipt she filed everything down for me and now i owe 15 dollars 15 dollars guys this is so stupid this is what you're in you're like what i don't understand You cut the head off and you glue the top to the head. You take out some stuff and then you put the bottom of the mason jar and then you screw it back on and then it just looks like it's a, bear. a secret place to hide your stuff. Here are a few life hacks that you need to hear. 10minuteemail.com gives you a personal fake email address in 10 minutes. This way you don't have to use your own when you sign up for websites online. Textbooknova.com allows you to get textbooks for free. So next time you don't have to go and buy your own textbooks for school. On CourseEra.com, you can take any online course for completely free of charge. These courses can be taken at top institutions around the world for free. I hope these hacks helped. Raising Cane's Hacks from a Former Employee, Part 2. Let's go. So everyone knows you can substitute your toast, fries, or coleslaw, but did you know you can do double substitutions, such as no toast, no fries, extra, extra cane sauce? Speaking of cane sauce, only the managers know how to make it, so the employees don't even know what's in it. There's also hidden ones outside of every single Cane's building, like this one and this one. No pun intended. Every Cane's has a hard hat, sockeye salmon, and disco ball inside of it. You get a hard hat after working for one year there. And here's mine. You may have questioned the sunglasses symbol on the Cane's cup. It's actually the fill line for ice, two thirds. Ask for a Caniac club card at the register, fill some information out online, and 48 hours later, you got yourself a free box combo. Did you get all that? Well, I have a challenge for you. Rewatch the video and tell me how many times you saw Jingle Cane in the background. Also, like for part three, because there's plenty more where that came from. What are you doing? I'm showing everyone my new tricks. You put this all over your mirror. And then on your shower, there'll be no steam on your mirror. So we're going to turn the shower on for like 10 minutes, and then we're going to compare both mirrors and see which one's better. Hey. Okay, I saw this method for making an easy no-sew mask on Facebook and decided to give it a try. The first thing you need to do is find an old t-shirt that you don't wear anymore, preferably one without really bad pit stains because you got to put that shit over your nose and no one wants to smell that. Cut off the bottom hem of the shirt and then cut it in half so it's no longer a loop and it's got two ends. Then cut the sleeve off the shirt. You can cut it right at the seam. 
And you can leave it as is, or you can square it up a little bit like I'm doing here. Once you've done that, put the seam end down and stick the two ends that you just created through the sleeve. Pull it up over your nose and around your chin and then tie it back behind your head. And now you've got a mask that doesn't loop behind your ears and you didn't have to do anything at all. Cute. You should never wash your cast iron skillet, even if it's this dirty. Run hot water in the skillet, then scrub with a metal mesh scrubber or kosher salt. Whatever you do, don't use soap and don't put it in the dishwasher. Dry and rub down every part of the skillet with vegetable shortening or oil, then bake upside down for an hour at 350 degrees. Use foil to prevent an oven mess. After time, your skillet will be worn in, shiny, and completely nonstick. This is something that I learned from TikTok. I got these little jars from the dollar store and put the wax melts in them and put them in my car. You can see it's extremely hot and it melted and my car smells good. It worked. So a lot of my friends ask me, how do I play my PlayStation with my AirPods? So today I'm gonna show y'all how to connect y'all AirPods to y'all PlayStation. So this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need this USB dongle device and this USB speaker that connects into your PlayStation controller. That I'll show y'all the price and where to get it from at the end of the video because I don't know how to do the screen, the green screen effect. So next you're just going to sign in to your PlayStation. Take the USB and plug it into your PlayStation. It should take all the sound away from your PlayStation once it's plugged in correctly. You're going to press this button on top of the USB until it starts rapidly flashing. Once it's rapidly flashing, you take your AirPods and put them into pairing mode. And once it stops flashing, as you can see, they're paired. Next, you want to take this USB mic and plug it into your controller. Then soon after that, you want to go to your PlayStation settings, go to devices, go to audio devices, go to output device, and then connect it to the USB, and then boom. Playing with your hey, TikTok, did you know you're supposed to drain and clean your washing machine every six weeks? It's Google search, the type of washing machine you have, and then the three words, clean, drain, pump. You're going to want to grab two things, three things, a towel, a bowl and a very large water pitcher. This is the one we use all the time for draining our washing machine. If your instructions say different, do something different. Open your pal, pull out the drain hose, pull it out as far as it'll go. Very carefully, you're going to want to point this up, pull out the plug, and then drain it slowly into your bucket. Put this guy back, unscrew this, and pull it out. You'll thank me later. See this? You gotta clean all this off. This is the nasty water. You wanna pour this outside. It smells really bad. Now, show me what yours looks like, y'all. I need to see how gross your washing machines are. Wow, Apple computers are so secure. I'm gonna teach you how to break into them with one single line on fucking terminal. Starting off, my new password's gonna be four L's, L, 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 L. I can't go in because it's not my password. Let's change this. First step, start computer in recovery mode by holding Command and R at the same time. For legal reasons, don't do this unless this is your own computer. Anyway, put it in English because you can read English. And what you want to do is you want to click on Utilities, Terminal, and then you want to type in Reset Password. Just like that, that's all you have to type. Then that's going to pop up some text, and then it's going to say Reset Password. Now it gets tricky here. You want to type in the password you want twice, and literally click Next. Wow, I'm a hacker, Mom! Restart your computer. Then all you do is just type in LLLL, -L -L -L, which is my new password, and guess what? You fucking, wow, I'm so cool, I can hack. Wow, I typed in one line into fucking terminal and I broke into any laptop. Uh, Apple, fix your shit. Finally, a disclaimer. Do it on your own laptop because you forgot the password. No one else's. So a lot of you guys want to know how I did the dancing in the mirror video, so this is basically what I did. First, I recorded myself washing my hands, making sure I'm not too close to the mirror. Next, I recorded myself doing the same motion by adding a dance after it. Make sure that if you do this, you don't move the camera between takes or the editing will just look off. Then I opened Video Leap and selected the video of me dancing. After that, I selected Mixer and then added the second video of me washing my hands. After that, you're going to want to select the top video and then select Mask. At the bottom, you're going to want to select Rectangle, but you can also do Linear too. Then you're going to want to fit the rectangle in the mirror. Make sure you fill as much as you can. After you fill it, you're going to want to make sure your timing is right. You're going to want to slide the top to make sure that you guys are coming in at the same time. 
Then after that, you're gonna wanna crop the video to fit the sound. It's probably about like 15 seconds. Also, give yourself enough time in the beginning so when you fit the sound on TikTok, it can all like fit perfectly. Security tips from Edward Snowden, aka Things Edward Snowden Does, Part 1. If you don't know who Edward Snowden is, you probably aren't following me, so hi, nice to meet you. He's a former CIA subcontractor known for leaking documents related to the NSA's mass surveillance program, currently living slash hiding in Russia because the US canceled his passport on his way to Latin America. Because he is on the run from some of the biggest intelligence agencies in the world, he is a bit of an OPSEC freak. And these are some operational security tips he has for normal people, like all of us. Edward Snowden thinks you should do this. Encrypt your phone calls and messages, so if they're intercepted, they can't be deciphered. I've talked about signal before and that is what he recommends. Encrypt your computer's hard disk so even if it's stolen, it's unreadable. I will also mention if you plan to store anything in the cloud, there is no cloud, it's someone else's computer. But also use an encryption service to encrypt the stuff you're going to upload before you upload it. You'll also have to decrypt it on the way back down. He recommends password managers, specifically KeyPassX. I personally dislike the idea of password managers, but he is a man on the run from the NSA and I am a blonde on TikTok so what the fuck do I know? Use two-factor authentication and if you're really hardcore, use a YubiKey. Tips and tricks from a Sonic employee part five. And yes, I was a manager. This one has to be my favorite tip. If you get a no flavor slush, it is just slushy sugar ice water. So relatively, you can put anything in it. You can put mixed drinks, you can put orange juice, you can just drink the sugar water. You can put anything you want into it and it just makes it into a slush. Also, every single drink on the menu can be turned into a slush. So say you want a Coke slush, instead of using like Coke soda, they just use Coke syrup in the slush machine. So every single thing can be turned into a slush, which is why it is the ultimate drink stop. And the reason a mint comes in every order is because the founder of Sonic, he said that every customer is worth a mint. Hey guys, I have a public service announcement for those of you who are using measuring cups. It's one of my most liked posts on my website. These are not the same thing. You use these for wet ingredients like oil and water, and you use your dry cups like this for sugar and flour. So I'm gonna show y'all what happens when you use one with water and then pour it into the other than sugar. Okay, so here I have one cup of sugar, and I'm gonna pour it into here. So if I would do this right, you're going to make it even. And look at all the extra coming out of that. That's what's messing up your recipes, y'all. I am absolutely mind blown right now. So this beautiful, wonderful, amazing person commented on my video about my son breaking his tablet. And we were not going to replace the tablet because I'm not the type of person that rewards my child for breaking things or replaces things right away like that. But let's be real. I'm the one that's had to suffer for the past 48 hours of him not having a tablet. So as soon as I see this comment, I look it up. I end up calling Amazon customer service and telling them, you know, my child broke their tablet. Um, we're, I heard that there was a warranty that it can be replaced. And with no questions asked, he's like, yeah, give me five minutes and we'll get it put together. Meanwhile, I'm texting my husband like, this cannot be real. Like surely there's some catch 22 where we have to end up paying like half the price for it or something like that. So the guy gets back on the line and he's like, yes ma'am, your new tablet will be there on Monday. We'll also be sending you a new UPS return label to send your old tablet whenever it's convenient for you. What? TikTok, you are getting good with these questions and a lot recently around bosses. So I'm gonna give you the one question you should always ask in a job interview so you can figure out what it's gonna be like to work for this boss. When it gets to your turn to ask questions, simply say, can you tell me about the most successful person you ever hired and what exactly they did to be successful? That's because whatever response they give you is what they look for in a candidate. And let me tell you why that's important. Let's say this boss was raving about work-life balance at the organization. But when you ask this question, they said, the best person I ever hired was Jim. He came in early, he stayed late, he worked weekends. I could text him, call him anytime and he would drop everything for me. Does that sound like work-life balance to you? No, it's a very revealing question about what this boss admires and respects, which means that's gonna predict what you're gonna have to do to be successful and get raises and promotions. So ask that question, you will learn a heck of a lot. Listen, if you're looking for more interview tips, I've got a huge 18 question list in my bio, go grab it for free.